What's up, guys? It's Pip here. So, what do I got to say about this video? Now, I I have no words. <laughs> I, I, I don't know what to say. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. Like, we didn't play bad at all. <laughs> I mean, that's the only thing. That's the only thing I'm talking about here. So, wow. We did... Just, they just cooked. They just cooked. They they was that was game over from period one. Period once period one was done, it was done. They that game was over. Mika ran to him two assists, two points, seven shots on goal. Um Thomas Tatar, two assists. He had two assists and two points, but zero shots on goal. Kagiano with one assist, one point, and one shot on goal. Brian Johansson with his first goal as a Colorado Avalanche, which is huge. That's huge. And two shots. Terry Lechner with six with an assist, too. Nathan McKinnon, of course, a goal at the very end there. And six shots on goal. Just popped off. The Chus get three shots. Logan O'Connor, three shots and a goal. Devontae's one goal and three shots. Like, I don't know. Uh, just popped off. And Kamakar had zero shots on that. Really? Hmm. I didn't know that. Didn't even know that. Alexander Yuryev, of course, did really good. 18 for 18. Did amazing. I mean, he only got 18 shots. So I, I, there's nothing to say about him. He got 18 shots. That's all I care about. Um, now I want to talk about something. So first of all, there we go. And, yeah, there you go. Is that? So the third goal that was that was counted off. That was that was off offsides. Wow. That was probably the best. I, I, I that was a nasty goal, by the way. From Jonathan Jurin sniping all the way across to Miles Wood to a tip in. Oh my God, that was a sexy goal. I, if I was a ref, I would have just gave it to him because how good it looked. Like that was an amazing goal for what it was. I know it was offsides. It it sucks to be offsides like that, but holy cow, that's. That was that goal was disgusting. By the way, I, I loved it. Nathan McKinnon got uh, the last goal, the fourth goal, which I'm proud of him because Jesus, he he was hungry for one that whole game. He after everyone else got him, he was hungry for him. So kind of glad he got one. Ryan Johansson, finally Johansson Johansson. However you want to say it, okay? I, I've heard so many different things. I, it's Johansson, I think it is. But I don't really care. But he finally. Got his first goal as a Colorado Avalanche. I am. Uh, that is huge. That is so nice to see. He finally produces here. And it, it's amazing. I'm excited for to see how he plays for the rest of the season. I'm excited for that. Now, I think the people that are due for a goal right now is Bowen Byram, of course. Ross Cole. I think he's due for him. He... He's he's hungry for him. I can see it in him. He is hungry for a goal. And of course, Jonathan Juran is a hungry for a goal. Now, they were talking about during the game how you know Jonathan Juran, he's he's kind of he hasn't really shown up yet for the team. I mean, he would have had it here today with an assist, but he hasn't they were saying they haven't shown up enough for the team for being, you know, a third overall pick in that draft with Nathan McKinnon. So, I mean, it kind of just depends, I guess. We got him dirt cheap, which is the best part. We got him dirt cheap. We, that was probably the best part about him. I mean, we did only get him for a one-year deal, but he, we got him for really dirt cheap right now. When it's depending on, at the end of the year, how much is he wanting and how long is he want to be here for, which, I mean, that's going to be kind of nice. It depends. Because we have Ross Colton for four years and Miles Wood for two years, I think it is. But I mean, it just it just depends because Cog's only got a one year. He's gonna retire at the end of the year, I'm assuming. Hopefully, that would be kind of sick for Cogs to retire as a Colorado Avalanche. But it he's he's got to show up eventually. I feel like once Nathan McKinnon and him click in and finally, you know, work like he, they find each other, I think he'll come out of the blue and finally show up as a team. But it just it just depends it depends on how they play i i um Bettinar put tom sitar on the first line and put jonathan drew down one line to see if 
you know if they would produce if, if they changed it up a little bit and they produced and they technically did for that third goal that was taken away they produced they did really well a per jonathan drew in a perfect pass to miles wood but taken back offside but it's it's gonna happen eventually jonathan drew in will produce eventually i don't know what's gonna happen but we'll see now the biggest topic i want to talk about now uh, i'll end it here we're here with with me played amazing an amazing game for everyone and logan o'connor is popping off he's had two goals in the past two games he is popping off okay everyone did really good jonathan taze with you know a goal tonight having that seven-year contract everyone's doing good so far i want to talk about something else so during i think it was second intermission maybe it was first or second intermission i think it was first intermission the espn cast was talking about something huge now now this it, it's it's just a, you know kind of a tall tale it's kind of just you know it depends on what happens they were talking about that patty kane patty kane patrick kane is getting off his surgery and you know the season's already started and they're already talking about him not wanting much money he's not going to want much money he's he's kind of grown out of his age and he's kind of getting there where he needs to retire soon and they were talking about him surgery being coming up to an end here and he'll be healthy and all that kind of stuff and he's still unsigned he's no team right now to play for so we moved justice Annan and riley toofy i think it is i think what's his first name i think so i don't remember now we moved him down to the hl they're saying the colorado avalanche would have two million dollars in cap space now 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 no no we need to talk about this they were saying the Colorado Avalanche could be a top pick for a signing of Patty Kane. No, 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 no. Imagine. Just just imagine quickly for me, okay? Just just imagine quickly. Patrick Kane on the fourth line of the Colorado Avalanche. This is looking like an EA roster over here. Okay, so let's 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 look at let's just, let's just remember here what the roster would be. So it would be Miko Rantanen, um, Nathan McKinnon, and that left wing would either be Terry Lekkinen. Um, why did I just I just blanked again? Okay, sorry. A uh, Terry Lekkinen. It would be Jonathan Drouin. It would be Tom Sitar. You know, that kind of switches between there. Second line, it's usually a Terry Lekkinen, um, Ryan Johansson, Ryan Johansson, and is it Logan? No, no it's Valiant and Chuskin. What am I saying? Oh, my God. Third line would be Logan O'Connor, Cogs, and Frederick Olsen or Miles Wood. You know, it kind of just bounces on between there. Ross Colton, I forgot about that. And like, there's so, yeah, it's whatever. It's, it, it, they're all over the place. But if we drop Frederick Olsen to down to the AHL, maybe, I don't know. It depends. Drop Frederick Olsen or, you know, someone else. Imagine this team now, what it looks like now, with only allowing 18 shots onto Georgiev. And then putting on 41 onto uh, another opposing goalie. And having full offense the whole game. No, no stop, no nothing. It was full offense for the Colorado Avalanche. Imagine what the team is now plus Patty Kane. I, I have no words. Like... Yes, it would only be a, probably a one-year contract. But wouldn't it be cool to have Patrick Kane come out of nowhere, out of surgery, and just be unstoppable for the Colorado Avalanche? I don't even know what to say. I, I would have no idea what to say. If I got the notification tomorrow that the Colorado Avalanche is signing Patty 
Kane to a one year, let's say one million dollar contract. I think I would lose my I, I would I my I would lose my breath. I would be gone. I would be slump for the rest of it. I wouldn't even believe it. I wouldn't even believe it. I would think it would be a fake account, fake Instagram, fake Twitter, fake everything account. Everything would be faked. If Patty Kane gets signed to the Colorado Avalanche, I'm buying the jersey. I'm I I'm buying the jersey. I don't care. I I told myself I'm gonna buy a Ryan O'Hanson jersey because it's you know it's a one in a million chance right now. I did it, it, you'll never see it ever again after his contract done in whatever for whatever three years whatever it is. But if it's a Patty Kane jersey in the Colorado Avalanche, signed sign. Where do I sign? Where do I buy? Like what? I don't even know what to say. I would buy that tomorrow. I would buy that the day after it is signed. And he is signed to the Colorado Avalanche. I would buy that jersey. All right. I don't know. It could be just, you know, talk for right now from the ESPN. It could be just, you know, banter. It could be anything. But if it's a possibility, man, I don't even know what to tell you. I don't even know what to tell you. That would be chaos in Colorado. But, yeah. There you go. I want to know what your thoughts down in the comments down below. If Patty Kane gets signed to Colorado, what are your thoughts? What are your thoughts if he gets signed to Colorado? I mean, he gets get signed anywhere. Anywhere. The Ducks, the um, Coyotes, they have tons of cap room right now. But if the one number one choice right now for Patty Kane is the Colorado Avalanche. He should be saying, where do I sign? Like, a Stanley Cup contender. He's going to want to sign to. He's not going to want to sign to, you know, the Coyotes. Because they're not a huge Stanley Cup contender right now. Or the Ducks. Or anything like that. With low, high cap room. And not winning much games. Like, I don't know. Tell me down in the comments below. What are your thoughts on Patty Kane? signed the Colorado Avalanche um I hope you guys enjoyed the video this was a big win for the Colorado Avalanche played they played amazing it was just a non-stop offense for the Colorado Avalanche 4-0 right behind the Vegas Golden Knights they're 5-0 but we're a game behind so kind of happens but I mean tell me down below what are your thoughts on Patty Kane um what were your thoughts about the game what were your thoughts about the offsides call so many things to talk about. I will answer all questions. Answer anything you want to talk about. I'm down to talk about hockey. Um, talk about Colorado Avalanche. I'm down to talk about it. Whatever. Tell me down below. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please make sure that notification bell is always on for all videos. And yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.